Today, me and Theresia are gonna do some zone 2 training. And what the hell is zone 2 training? Ever since I started doing cardio on the channel, people have been suggesting zone 2 training. When I started looking into it, I found it was kind of like a lot of exercising when it gets too hyped i just get tired of it there's like 1000 million videos about it and it seems so way overly complicated you need to figure out all different stats and your heart rate and your fucking blah 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 and they preach it like it's the second coming of christ <laughs> <laughs> but my understanding of zone 2 training is it's kind of the best bang for the buck training uh, the highest amount of intensity and the less impact on your body so the idea is that you can do this kind of training for very long periods of time and your body won't take any real damage from it you will be able to recover faster Ooh, we're pushing it now yeah. <laughs> as soon as i start talking i just want to rush what even is zone 2 training can it even be classified as training <laughs> will we even break a sweat? Is this just overhyped bullshit? So without being too technical and going way too deep into it, you have five different zones and the zones are your heart rate. Zone one is lowest and zone five is the hardest. And zone one is basically a walk and then zone five is you you just sprint for as fast as you can. So this training is dictated by your heart rate. So on our watches, we get our heart rates. You have all the different zones here and you can see the blue one, zone two is the biggest one. And I get alerts when I go above or below zone two. So they, it helped me regulate my pace. So why haven't I tried this before? Well, as I said, it seemed too overly complicated, but then like a kind of a blessing, I injured my back. And that meant I need to start again with the training really slow. So I figured why not give this a chance? I can't be a naysayer until I try it, right? But I'm kind of guessing that it makes sense, this kind of training. It's kind of when you're in the gym lifting weights. Oh yeah, you can go and you can lift 100 kilos in the bench press for one rep. Or if you lower the weights to like 50 kilos and do 10 reps on that, you have effectively lifted way more than the person with 100 kilos. So I'm guessing this is like the same thing. Lower the intensity and you can do it much more. I like that. <laughs> I mean, it sounds logical. I mean, we haven't really been training extremely intense when we're running, but we have always had the mentality of, ah, you wanna go a little bit faster, a little bit longer. And this is really telling when it feels so freaking slow, the zone two. I just want to keep running faster. I mean, really forcing yourself to slow down, it is a challenge. It's strange to not have enough pace or distance to run towards. We're basically just going out for, for 45 minutes, not following anything, just our hearts. Oh, that's kind of poetic though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're just following our hearts. Somehow people say that this kind of workout, running this slow, will make you an incredible long distance runner. I have no fucking idea how it works. Like this is the secret, everyone tells me. This is how you unlock your true potential. And I can really feel it. When I power walk like this, I feel so powerful. <laughs> but my sister is kind of slow. Yeah. And she's running a six day distance. Six days? Yeah, as long as you can for six days. And she's probably done a lot of these kinds of runs. Yeah. And I mean, we have to face it. Since we're such elite athletes nowadays, <laughs> we need to mi be mindful of the stress we put on our bodies. So this will be easier to recover from. Like we can't go and be insane in the gym and go out and run too hard and don't sleep. <laughs> That's winning concept. Yeah, that's what happened last time. Don't <laughs> want to do that again. 
How do you feel, Teresa? Yeah. Do you feel as silly as me? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, going really slow. Kind of like walking. My kids are faster. I bought some. I bought some. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And uh, a lovely company. So, yeah, you nothing guys. to complain about. <laughs> It's like this vanity thing also when you're out running because you're not very good at it But when you're outside and you see people you just you want to impress them a little bit It's like when you see people you want to run fast and we're straight back and like look yeah. at me. I'm mr. Fitness over here <laughs> And now fucking elderly people just walk past us. So no, this is not something to impress people with But they will be fucking impressed when we just when we start running marathons and running marathons marathons plural oh, all of them okay, okay all the marathons oh. above some fuck <laughs> it's gonna look so fucking funny on video as well we're just gonna be walking <laughs> people are not gonna be able to tell that we're running. but really it is huh it is the same tempo that's true <laughs> but i get more sweaty when i'm bumping up and down yeah hey yo hey yo <laughs> The butt is bumping. Oh, I, I can feel the it. Boobs. The boobs, they boobies. be bumping. Boobies be bumping. Donkey donks. Donkey donks. Above sound. Above sound. <laughs> Stop talking about the donkey donks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My heart's racing. Ice cold bath. Okay, I wondered if it was, if we uh, even were gonna break some sweat then. Yes. What's yeah. your heart rate? My heart rate yeah. is. 150. So that's why. That's so insane. I don't understand. We're so we're so in sync. We've trained too much together. That was also why I wanted to do this test with Teresa today to see if we're if we're in sync. <laughs> if we're in sync, even with this kind of training, because this could be a, a pretty boring thing with zone training. Is I can't do it with, for instance, Martin. He needs to go way faster than me. So we can't run together. But hopefully you and I can do it. Yep. I mean it's not it's not like zone training is something incredibly new. I mean I have heard my entire life of okay, when you go out jog, you need to run slow, so slow that you can have a conversation with your friend. That is a good tempo. And this is basically what that is. This is keeping us in such a low pace that we can talk. So this is just a fancy way of doing it. We get stats. <laughs> I get a clock that tells me when I'm doing it right. And everything sounds cooler when you put a cool name to it, like zone training. <laughs> <laughs> a talk run doesn't sound as cool. 30 minutes, 3.3 kilometers. <laughs> like two months ago, we ran five kilometers in 30 minutes. In this pace, it's like... <laughs> we could do this for hours. Yeah. Well, hey, so. <laughs> let's do a half marathon this winter. <laughs> let's do a fucking half marathon. Woo! Woo! <laughs> and then, if you want to do this real properly, there's like thousands of calculations you can do. You should wear like a heart rate band around your chest and not only rely on like a smartwatch like this, but I just say fuck it with that. This is like a general guideline of just doing a lower intensity kind of cardio. A more bang for your buck kind of cardio. The highest level of intensity for your heart and the lowest impact on your body so you can recover fast. If you don't put unnecessary stress on your body. I think it's good for the general audience, like humanity at large, seeing us run this slow and silly. Even gods <laughs> need to take it slow. I mean, you have the Valkyrie over here. <laughs> even, yeah, even, even, it says so. It says e so. Even Valkyries needs to zone two train, okay? You build divine power from zone two. Woo! Okay, so that's 45 minutes. Let's stop there. Taking it slow, right? 45 minutes for the first time is. That's quite good. 4.9 kilometers in 45 minutes. So <laughs> very, 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 very not fast. But let's review it. I mean, I'm sweaty. Yeah. I 
I can say it so much, I'm sweaty. I'm not out of breath at all. No. No? <laughs> <laughs> what have we done? Had a nice time. Had a nice time. The clock said that my heart was working. Got some mosquito bites. All free. <laughs> Included. I mean, yeah, it's probably something to this. I don't feel anything in my back after 45 minutes of running, so that's a big win. I felt though in my back <laughs> when I slapped the mosquito. Oh no! <laughs> but crooked. Speaking about how in sync we are all the time, <laughs> my left side, the left side of my back was the one that gave up. <laughs> like a week ago, your right side yeah. of your back. That's insane. <laughs> I just want Blatlet to be like you. No. <laughs> That's what happens when two blondes hang out together. Everything gets synced. <laughs> That's what I've heard at least. <laughs> okay, I had uh, a good time. I give a thumbs up on it. I mean, uh, three out of five stars. It was a, it was a workout. Yeah. Not more, not less. Uh, uh, a frog. A frog? Hi, hey, froggy. Wow, look at that. Fresia? Yeah. You're awesome. You're awesome. Yes, and you guys that are watching, you're even more awesome. Take care, and we'll see you next week. Bye.